All right. Y'all, this is the haircut section, haircut service section of the Cosmetology Exam in Texas. And we're going to read the haircut section before, before we get started from the CIB. Uh, that's the Candidate Information Bulletin from the uh, PSI uh, Testing Service. All right, it says this, the next section is the haircut service. Please remove at least one inch of hair throughout the entire head by performing a layered haircut of your choice using a razor and shears. You have 42 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have 21 minutes remaining. Now, let me explain. When it says you have you have to take off one inch throughout the entire haircut, that means that you have to take off at least an inch all over, sides, back, and top, okay? Then it says you have to perform a layered haircut. So basically, you can't go in there and do a blunt cut, zero degree blunt cut. You have to go in there and do one of the major, main three layer haircuts, which is your uniform layer, your long layer haircut, or the um, your 45 graduated degree graduated haircut. And he wants you to use shears and razor. Now, you don't have to use the shears and razor in no particular order. You can use the shears first, then use the razor and the shears again, or you use the razor first and use the shears, or however you want to do it. They don't have to be in no particular order. Okay? Now, what does have to be in order is the first three task lines, which is sanitize your hands, prepare the mannequin for service, and perform a scalp analysis. Those things have to be in order. So what we're going to do, you got 42 minutes, and when it says 42 minutes, that's from the time they say you may begin. That's, that includes pulling your stuff out, setting up, uh, parting your mannequin's hair, now scalping out all that. And it also includes putting that stuff up when you're through and uh, sweeping up your hair. All that's part of the 42 minutes. So what we're going to do now, we are about to get started. So once they, once they say you may begin, that means you, you go get it. So we're going to start right here and right now. You may begin. Sanitize my hands. Pull out stuff. Okay. Scissors. Next groups. Hold it right there. Now, if you have a roll of paper towel sitting right here uh, from your uh, pre exam setup throughout the whole test, just like you have your hand sanitizer and water throughout the whole test. So you have that there. You can sit your implements on. And you better use that paper towel. Okay. Now, got the stuff laid out. You can use, you got an option to use any type of mannequin holder you want. You can use a little small black one that comes with a lot of the mannequins, which I just didn't have one with me today. And they're gonna have a section like this. They're gonna have a section just like this where you can clamp your little small uh, mannequin clamp holder right here on you. And everything I'm doing right now is part of that 42 minutes, y'all. So don't forget. Also, or well, you got an option uh, to use this one. You can you can carry your, your um, tripod with you if you want to. And you can take your mannequin, you can sit on your tripod, and you can do your work here if, if you choose. Most people don't, don't invest in a tripod, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do everything here. And uh, I'm gonna let the mint down some because most people's tripod are not even that tall. And, and in cosmetology, a lot of times, 
most people were not that tall because the majority of the contestants, uh, candidates were women. So I'm not, not that they were not tall women, but most of the candidates that uh, lent from that and, and, it, and the holder that comes with it is long enough. Tall enough for them in most cases. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're going to prepare it. We, we, we sanitized our hands. Now we're preparing the mannequin for service. That was a hair comb thing I just did. That was just, I don't know what I was doing right there. Dog. Don't worry about that. You go straight from the sanitizer hand and you put this mannequin holder up. You use the neck strip. This is the proper draping for this cut. It's a hair cut draping. Use the neck strip and don't use the wet chemical drape. Use a regular cloth draping. The same drape you do for any haircut. Don't use a chemical service drape, the plastic one for the wet drape. You don't use that. Make sure the cape is not touching the skin of the mannequin. Okay. I like to put the Velcro, enough Velcro on there so that I can just put it tight around the neck without using a clamp. That's what I like to do with my kids. So we, we, we've got that, we've got that going. Okay, so we did, we, we've done two things. We did hand sanitize the hands, we prepared the model for service. Now we're gonna do a scalp analysis. So you wanna take sub subsections at a time and you wanna go through and you're looking for any type of uh, disorders or anything that's not appropriate on the scap, just in case you you have to uh, deny service, I mean decline service. Okay, and then we did that side, and we go to this side, just part the hair, going through, doing the scalp analysis. Don't take all day, let's run through that, because you only got 42 minutes. And that includes sweeping up your hair and cleaning up. All right. Okay. We so done that. Now you do the haircut, and however, whichever haircut of your choice, and it's got to be a layer haircut. And what we're gonna do here today, we're gonna do the ninety degree, the ninety degree uniform layer haircut. Okay. That's what we're gonna do today. Right. You want to comb? Make sure you untangle that hair. You want to. I'm gonna get my scissors out. I got everything I need over here. I got the clamps, I got the razor. You gotta have a razor with a guard on it. You want your razor with a guard. So I'm gonna moisture the hair, moisture the hair. Now what I did, I put some solution in this water. It's a detangler. So that's going to that help you out when the hair gets tangled up. You want evenly saturated hair. You want even moisture throughout the haircut. Time you're working, keep in mind you're gonna do things whatever you can do to save time because you don't want to get caught at the end not completing this haircut or, or completing the haircut and not completing the cleanup. dry on this side here. Use that comb to strip the moisture throughout that hair. Okay. 
Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to create a profile parting down the center using right between the eyebrows. You want to come down through here. Your parting. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm coming to the edge of the eyebrow right there. I'm putting that parter on there. I'm pressing down my fingers. I'm separating it high. And all I got to do is come to the side. There you go. See that? All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come from the apex of the head. Find where the hair rocks here at the apex. Here, you're going to come a little behind the ear. You're going to come straight down. You're going to touch that finger. You grab the hair on top of the comb. And you're going to split it. Create that parting. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to part this hair off. And, and once again, try to do this stuff as quick as possible because your, your time is ticking. There'll be a clock on the wall where you can watch that clock and you can know how much time you got based on that clock, okay? Now you got your part in here. You come all the way down with it, okay? Now come over here. Now you're basically doing a four section, but you're leaving the center profile uh, parting out. And then you're gonna go up about an inch here. You're going to drop that hair at the bottom. You're going to leave that there. All right. So basically, you're doing like a four section, which, which you should be used to doing already at this point. Okay. We're going to do the same thing we did on that side. We're going to do on this side. You want to get the same point behind that ear. Come over here. You're gonna do the same thing. All right. You basically just put it the hair out your way. All right. You got this being up that parting down, all the way down. Should be already there. Should be already there. Just kind of just now finish getting it separated there. Okay. Now you're gonna get that. You're gonna pick up. You see the you see the hair here where where the wet. You wanna. With a part of it, you want to use that same, put that hair at the bottom, use that same parting, okay? All right. I'm going to clean that out the way. Now, on this middle piece, you see it's already dropped down right there. So you got to drop down all the way across. All right. You can just push this out your way like that for, for the time being. You're going to put your comb down. You're going to grab your razor. I mean, not going to put your comb down. You're going to grab your razor. Okay. You're going to push this head forward. Loosen that a little bit. And now that allow me to move that forward. Okay. So we're going to establish our length here of the haircut. The length, how much we want to take off and... That length is going to be the length that you create this whole guide, uh, profile guideline with. All right? So we can start in the center here. And we're going to, we're going to, we're going to use the razor. Pull your razor out. Get the length we're looking for, and make sure that the razor don't cut easier the wetter the hair is. The wetter the hair is, the easier the razor cuts. So we got some length here. We're gonna come out. Let's just take. About two inches off of that. 
come behind the fingers. We're gonna cut. Now, right here, you can see you got your guideline there, right there in the center. So now, let's, let's move it. We got a guideline. We got to move, work our way through this haircut. You want to let that hair drop out of your fingers, and then you cut. There we go. So we're gonna come back this way. We did. We went from center to left, and we went from center to right. Let that guy drop out, and you cut. Yeah. That guy drop out and you cut. If you feel like you missed a little bit, you can go back in. But make sure that hair is wet right there because it cuts easy. Razor cuts a lot easier, especially with this technique in this situation. Right. There we go. There's your guide. Now you, you, if you want to, you can be done with your razor for, for, for the time being. Now, let's get back to this center guideline. We're going to use this length here to establish okay. your shears. Now, you want to angle this. Your fingers is going to be the angle. Do we know the head? The head at this point and under the nape is angled kind of down at an angle down. It's not straight out. It's kind of down. So that means your hair has to go down as well. And your fingers are responsible for holding that hair at the right angle. So I'm pulling that hair down. I'm going all the way out to where the guide is. Here's your guide. I'm going all the way out to that guide. Now, one thing, make sure you don't pull it too down. You pull it down, out a little bit, and there we go. So you see the guy there at the shortest point? You cut. Take a piece of that out, and this becomes your new guy. You work your way up the head. Your angle is not as as deep as it is at first because the head changes until it goes up. Work it up a little bit as you go. But make sure you're coming directly out from where the hair grows. It's very important, especially when, you, when you're establishing this guideline because take that part out and keep a piece of your guide. Work your way up. Coming straight out from where the hair grows all the way out to the guideline. Take a piece of that out. Keep a piece of your guide with you. Recomb it and and redirect and, and project. Reproject the proper angle based on the growth of the hair. Now I'm gonna speed up. I want to make sure that you knew the concept, but we got to get this going so we can get through in time. Now, if I got a lot of hair in my head, in my hand, no worries. I'm only going to cut a little bit so we can keep on projecting the new angle. So we can get a new projection going as we go so that this can be accurate. Because if you don't follow the contour or the, the you don't want to follow the silhouette here, and let me show you this. Y'all see when I have my shears like that and they were open? They take out points for that. Those shears must be, the tips must, can't be open like this throughout the cut while you're palming them. You got those shears have to be closed while you're palming them. Tips like that is what a lot of people are not getting. That's why a lot of times it's easy to flip them over like that. That's what a lot of people are not getting in their training. And that's why my training is so efficient my training is so efficient because I make sure I cover all the small details like that your fingers are the cutting angle you want to 
want to comb the hair good. Notice when I recombed it, the little small ones came through because I, I hadn't combed it and stretched it, the tension all the way through properly. All right. So then we're going to go back through and check this guy real quick. And all this has to be done in a timely manner because. Because um, you only give you so much time, and that time includes what? Clean up, set up. Make sure you're getting the right angles. That's the only way your cut's going to be accurate. This is the, that's the thing about the 90 degree haircut. The, the, the projection has to be on point. And this guideline is very important because the rest of the haircut is based on that guideline. Okay, good. Now, the next step is to take off one of the quarters. And you want it to get a, a little subsection. Use your parting hand, make it easier. Get a little subsection. Of one of your quarters, if you and you can take this, and you can. I like to use a lot of times. See if I, I'm, I'm taking too long. See if I take if you take too long to rest with this hair, you'll lose time. So you definitely want to make sure you got that part down instead of resting with this hair. Okay, you can easily take the banana clip. Is the quickest, easiest way to pin that hair out your way. Okay. So you got your you got your guy here and you got your hair here. So you want to take this hair. Now we're only working from here. Oh, that's pent out. So we can take this for now and push it out the way. This is the only part of the guy we need right now. So we can take that. We don't need the whole guy. We can split it in half. Tiny middle. We take the guide and the new hair. Now we can come from the bottom or we can come from here. But the, the part, most important part is making sure you're projecting it out from where the hair grows. Directly 90 degrees out. Okay. And you want to take the, the, the guide over to the new. So you want to hold the new subsection directly out from where it grows. So that means that your guide will be projected over directed a little bit, just a little bit. You don't want to get too much over direction because your cuts will be out. Right here. You can see it. You can see your guide. And if you can't see your guide, what you do, you bag up. Remember I split the guide in half? You bag up, you make your guy thicker because it'll be easier to see. See, now you can really see it. Okay. Just make sure you're protecting that hair out. You're right. Hey. Make sure this tip is not open when you palm with your shears. Because stuff like that, you don't know why you miss the points on your on your test when you get your score back. And you had no idea that stuff like that was costing you points. What's your guy, right? And if you want to ever want to check the cross check this way. Because your tips need to cut right there. Alright? Now, same thing. You just repeat. You grab another small subsection. Go 
Push that out your way. If, if you can, push that, just push that out your way. Do that. It can save you a lot of time. And you want to cut that guard, that guy, that guard, I mean, guide in half. So it won't be so much hair. You won't get the smile, part of your teeth a lot of times. Give you more attention. And you can see here there's a guide right there. Here's the new hair. Work our way down, projecting that hair out. Don't forget, and the whole time you're doing all this, you're keeping in mind that you only have 42 minutes. Right there, the original guy, right there. Okay. Don't worry about this up here. You just cutting there. Then you can move yourself up and check that work. Right here, you see the guide? That's how you check that. All right. Now we should be able to cut this down. Move it out the way. If you want to, it'll make you feel comfortable. You can clip that out your way. You got the guide here and the inner. The remaining of that section, you can split it if you want to here. Make sure you got enough moisture to wrap. Okay. Give me go to the smaller teeth. Give me more tension. And I gotta, I gotta remember, make sure this hair, the new hair is coming directly out from where it grows and I'm not over directing it toward the guy. I want to move the guy closer to it. But I also don't want to over direct it past its growth out to where out past where it grows. Okay, yeah. Yeah, be careful. You don't want to go past your guide up. Okay, my fingers are here. You can see my guide there. And here you want to, you gotta move you move up angle. See it here, the guy. Coming hair coming out from where it grows. Yeah, it's there. Should be one little piece left here. So let's complete this section. And get it going higher out from where it grows. You got it there. Got you cut. Combing that hair. Pulling that hair directly out from where it grows. You want to stop and you see your guide. Here. All right, you can check this section, cross check it, Horizon horizontally, we cut it vertically, and you want to cross check it horizontally, just moving up, moving up, let me get, this, get more attention and pull all the hairs out, and don't, even when you cross check it, you want to make sure you're coming out from where it grows. Pretty good. That's pretty good. 45. You got a little piece here. There we go. Now, the 
we do here. Don't forget, your God was here. Your God is here. So, you're going to do the same thing on this side you do on that side. You're just going to switch sides. Come over here and put her up. So I can just take half this guide. I can push the rest of this hair out the way. This whole back quarter has been cut already. Can pull that out the way. This one, we just need to get a subsection and push this out the way. If you want to, you can pin it like that. Or you can take the banana clip if you, if it makes you feel better, work neat, or if it helps you be more successful. You want to take that there, okay? You want to come here. You, your, your finger is the cutting angle out from where the hair grows. It's kind of hard to see your guy right there. If it's hard, I can see it here. But if you have trouble seeing, you can see it at the top. It goes down through here. If you have trouble seeing your guy, make sure you just back up and grab some more hair so your guy can be thicker. I'm just move my fingers down and get my angle going down. You see all that? She got it. Yeah. I'll move my finger down to the bottom. See your guy? Yeah. Come here. Grab another subsection. If you need to move the mannequin's head, you can. I'm gonna grab another subsection. Put that hair out the way. You got you can get a piece of this up here. See my guy right. And if you can't see your guy, do not cut. can't see your guy, do not cut. My fingers are going to control the angle. You got to make sure your fingers are doing the right angle and you're projecting it properly. You need another subsection. Put the other hair out the way. I can split my guide now because it got pretty big. So this is the new hair. This is the old hair that's already cut. You want to pick it all up together. But you want to project the hair straight out. Get the angle straight out from where it grows and straight out. 90 degrees out from the scalp. See the guy here? I'm combing it, we combing it to it. Make sure I see my guy. Piece here. 
So if you ever look like that, you can come. You come horizontally. You see it there? That's where it's at. So when you turn it back this way, you know it's right there. See it? Right there. Okay. So go back up here. Okay. My, the way I'm pro projecting my fingers out, the angles I'm holding my fingers, I'm using my fingers to hold the hair at angles, it's very important to make sure that this haircut comes out even. All right. All right. Let me take that. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, y'all. I'm gonna make sure we make this 42 minutes. piece up here that way we can just project this right out from where it grows Moisture. Make the hair to get dry if you want the same tension. You need that same moisture throughout the haircut so you can have the same tension. Okay. Let's get this last piece. Let's make our guide smaller. Put the hatchet away. Yep, y'all see my shears open? Let me start flipping them back. Just move my fingers down. That's the guy. I'm gonna move my fingers down and put the new hair in my hand. That's the guy. All right. So if you want to cross check this section, and this can happen to y'all guys in, in 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 class, your mannequin clamp can come loose. So your mannequin cap can come loose. So what we're doing, we're just gonna check this horizontally. And you can take this head off if you need to, turn it. And you can control this head and put it wherever you need to, to be successful. You gotta make sure I'm holding it out. When you're on the corners of these, of the, uh, when you're on the corners where the head turns, you gotta make sure you're holding it the hair out properly, you're going to have some little pieces like this. Let me turn this corner. See right here? So you can just check your work real quick. Don't take all day. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. with it come up and there you go
All right. Now, once that back is done, guys, you got the back done. On, you got both back corners done. You got the center piece open. Now you're going to have two guides. For the both sides, you're going to have two guides. You're going to have the guides coming from the top and the guides coming from the back. So let's, let's do this section here. What we're going to do, we're going to take that loose. All right. You got the guy here. Don't forget right here behind here. That's where your parting was. So we're going to take a piece of this guy from the back. And this hair here, we can put that back there. You can pin it if you like. If you, if you don't want to pin it, you don't pin it. Right. And then you can take a piece of guy from the top. So you two pieces of guide. This came from the back, this came from the top. All right. Now, you get the subsection here. And that's what we're working on. You put the rest of this hair out your way. And this is where your, where your speed's going to fix up because you got the guide coming from both. And once you know you, your fingers are holding at the right angle, there should be no worries because you got guide coming from the back and from the top. All right, so that's still a guy from, that you had already previously cut. This is the new hair. You got a guy at top from the top and a guy from back here. So you want to grab a piece of that and that. And you're going to project it out from where it grows. Straight out. And notice, I'm not over directing the new hair over to the guy. I'm over directing the guy over to where the new hair grows out, directly out from. You just keep screwing your fingers down, keep screwing your comb down. Comes directly straight out, 90 degree out from the head, and 90 degree out from where it grows. The new guy comes over, I mean, the, the guy comes over to the new hair. And the new hair comes straight out from where it grows. See the guy back here? And the guy's up here. So I cut to the guy. Okay, so all this should be, all this should be matching. You can do it right there. Here we go. That's how it dries up so quick. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get another subsection that includes the piece at the top. Well, let's get this subsection part. Okay, right there. Let's get a piece of the old hair for our guy from the back. We're going to pull it together. We're going to work those together. All right. Let's get a piece of this guy from the top. That's your original guy, your original profile guy. So let's just do this. Make sure the top is right. Yeah, a length right there. Don't forget, I gotta come directly out from where the hair grows. Directly out from the angle of the head. Directly out, because the head shape changes. And back here. The head shape changes as you go. It's a round shape. Not perfectly round, but... Okay. That's that. That angle there. Get 
to check your work. Let's see. So how about where you where you projecting the hair? Are you projecting the hair? The angles. Another subsection. Now we can pick up the pace here. So you just guide to the top. Turn from the tap, pull it on in there. See here, see this hair bending? This is right where the turn of the head is. Uh, this hair, this is the top, it's straight. So when you get here, it starts turning a little bit. So I would be over directing this in order to cut it. So what I need to do is I need to make sure my fingers angle right there where that turn is at so it'll get a proper cut. So you can move that mannequin however you need to move that mannequin. Do whatever you need to do get the proper body position for yourself. Don't forget to keep the moisture going. Don't even moisture. See the beef is cut here. There we go. So let's push the back away. Let's grab these last sections. You know the head angles this way. Right here in the front. Short piece here. And you gotta let me back up. See some long there? Make sure you got this tight right here. You gotta get that angle. Behind here, shouldn't have all that. Cut my fingers off with that. The new scissors, you knew scissors came with band aids, they must have knew. Okay, so we're going to go through here. We can check the side. Pulling the hair horizontally. 
because one way you kick it up some better. Grab the tip right there. And you can come behind it here easily just to pull it like this and check it. I see a short tip here. Right here, they we got a trick. I'm going to check this whole section. Coming out pretty good so far. Alrighty. Yeah. See a short piece? Short and long. Even it up best as possible. Pretty good. Got a couple flares. That's nothing. That's nothing that's gonna be held against you. Right there. Now, as you see this corner here, I'm hanging out from where it grows horizontally, checking it. Okay. Pulling hair out from where it grows, checking it. Pulling hair out from where it grows, checking it. Right down the corner with that. Mm. Mm. So, now you can turn this mat all the way around. You can get to the last section. So remember, in between these eyebrows is your guide. This is already cut, you never remember. So you have that. You can pull that over here. Now you got this last section, y'all, so we can get this quick. You're going to do it like this. You got this? section back here, remember that we pent up. It was already cut. You wanna get a piece of that guideline from the back. Don't forget, all the rest of the head is cut. This here. You gonna start from the top. It's getting dry. And y'all, please don't take them little cheap mannequins, uh, to the cheap mannequins to the uh, board, because they will be getting tangled up on you, and you will be having issues. You got there. You know, it might look like I'm doing a little while here, but this is what you got to do to speed up. This is what you, what you want to do to speed your service up. There's your guy. Coming from the top. Accurate.
seeing something that's what I want to check. I'm moving this way, okay. All right. Get another self section. This is how you cut. Come up to the top. Use that top guideline. See this piece is cut here. This is a guide. Project that angle where, where the curve is turning on the head. Let's stay organized here. You see the guy here? Straight out from the scap and where it grows. God is in there. Again, y'all, y'all keep your eyes open for y'all uh, the points of the shear has been open. I had to tell myself that. Don't forget, y'all, you got to see your guide. One of the most common mistakes we make is I'm following the contour. Hold on, y'all. I'm following where the hair grows. I'm, I'm holding the hair out from where it grows, the angle it grows. See the short part? Yes, the length's off a little bit there. Hold this hair out from where it grows. Got a little piece there, guide there. Okay, I'm gonna cross check this. Let me start this top. Let me get some large stuff here. You might have to put a little half from the, other, from the top of the other side just to make sure we got the top straight, even. See that top's uneven? That means my other side may be a little off here. I mean, I have to come back through there. But I'm following the shape of the head. Okay. Now, I'm off right there. There. Come back up here. And you do this before you give them the comb. When you get through cutting hair, you have to give the raider your comb. And they're going to comb through here, and they're going to cross-check. But they're not going to fix your mistakes for you. So you have to do this on your own. That's why I just say go on through the haircut. Then you come back and do your cross-check. I don't know how you hold them fingers. Yeah. So I don't know how you hold them fingers. Make sure you're projecting this. How about the projection? Projecting the hair out. The di directly out from the scalp based on the angle and the, hair, the, the uh, shape of the head at that point. Right here is where we always find right in the cor that corner where the, where the head turns the four corners. Got some stuff right there.
All right. So you just take your thing down. And you just take the whole head. That's wrong, man. But you saw about, I'm not just randomly pulling. I got my fingers angled based on the way the scalp is shaped. Y'all look at that clock on that wall. See how much time you got, you know, to check your work. Because once you run out of time, you might want to take your chance of getting the points for cleaning up and sweeping up. Instead of getting, instead of letting them catch you with all this hair everywhere. Check that front. See these pieces are coming together even. You know, look at that. Alrighty. So what I would do here now, y'all see I got this here on this paper towel. Let's take that. Okay. Um, part, a part of what they judge you on is making sure that you uh, remove all the hair from the model, the face and stuff. So you can use whatever you need to use to do that. So before you call them over there and let them know you're through, you, you want to clean up. Because you're not through until you clean up. So you, you really have your uh, disinfectant, I mean, uh, EPA cleaner sitting on the station as well. So you, if you want to do, you can spray that and, and you can wipe up the station too. You want to take this off your neck. You want to put all this stuff up. Let's see how fast I'm moving. You got no time to waste. But the haircut pretty much gonna take most of your time. It'll give you a total of 42 minutes. From start to finish. Don't cut yourself. A lot of people doing that at the board, cutting yourself because they're nervous. Your water bottle uh, stays on your station because this would start with your pre exam setup bag. And of course, this would be going to your trash bag that'll be up underneath there. I'll just sit back for a second. Now. And you would go over here, you would get your broom, 
and your dustpan. This is the only thing you throw in your trash can is the hair from the hair cut. Everything else goes in your trash bag. And after you've done that, you come back over behind your chair. Oh, my mistake. What you would have done when you packed everything, you would have packed everything except your comb. And then you come up for them to check your hair. When you come back, you raise your comb, let them know, indicate that you're done. And they'll come over there and get your comb from you. Until the next section.